Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do a new topic that is sex. So we'll see the part one of it. So now let us see the introduction to that and then later on we'll start with the exercise. So here is sex, actually what is sex? A sex is a collection of well-defined objects. It can be objects, it can be symbols or it can be items so for what is called whenever they say elements of a set so you should know what are the elements of a set the items symbols objects etc which belong to the set they are called the members or elements so now here's suppose now this is a this always the set is written in a curly brackets this is called the curly bracket and this what is as this is called the name of the set so here whatever in this one these are called the members or we can say they are the elements of the set so hope this is clear so now the, you can see the symbol it's like a e this is called the epsilon so whenever you have this symbol and whenever you have a this symbol with a slash so what we can say a symbol this is called epsilon is used to represent means it say whenever we have such we see we say it belongs to or is a member of and whenever this symbol is used with a slash line over this one so we can say it represents that is does not belong to this belongs to and this does not belong to or not a member of the set now see here example is given this is the set and these are the elements of it so now we can say 4 belongs to A, whereas we can say 9 does not belong to because we cannot see 9 in it, but we can see 4 in it. So this is the set A. So we can say 4 belongs to A, whereas 9 does not belong to A. Hope this is clear now with this two symbols. So now we will see the types of sets. So here we are not going to see all of them, but only we will go few. And later on in the next topic, whenever I take the next video, so we will go for the other types. So now here a set with a specific number of elements, for example, S is 1, 2, 3, is a finite set. So because only three are given here so we can say that is finite but in when we say infinite means a set with an unlimited number of elements so now you can say this is one two three four and the dash 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 the dot is given so we can say that is infinite so here there is it it has uh, this it stop at three so we can say this is a finite one so now there is also empty set a set with no elements is called that is also called as null or empty set so we can also write like this or we can write just curly brackets with no elements in it. So that is called the empty set. Now let us see the exercise. And in the next video, I'll give you some more terms, whatever they are, because there are many terms in this topic. So now we'll go with few of the examples here. So they said state where, whether the following statement represent a set or not. So now the collection of all musicians. So it says no. Why is it so? Because there are so many musicians. So we, we cannot count it. So we can say that is no. So it's not a set. Collection of numbers between 4 and 12. So it is yes. Because you know there are selected numbers only from 4 and 12. So that is a limitation. Here we can count it. The limited numbers. So we can say yes. The collection of money in a charitable fund. Again, this will be no because we don't know how much is the collection. So it will no be. The answer will be no. The collection of interesting books in a library. So there will be so many interesting books. So that number also, we cannot judge that number. So we can say that is no. The collection of class 12 physics books by the same author. So yes, we can count the with the, because with the same author class 12 physics book so yeah that is yes so straight true or false now see here 6 9 10 is the same as 10 9 and 6 so that is true only the order has been changed so it is true 1 2 3 
and ABC are the same? No, because this, are, this is one, two, three, and this is ABC, but both are not same. So that is false. Set of letters in the word forever. So can you see F O R and here after writing one this one we are going to put a comma in between. So F O R E V. Then why is that E R not written there? Because in this one there is one more point what is to be remembered that we don't have to repeat the alphabet again. Now can you see? This E is again repeated, this R is again repeated. So you have to write whatever this is only once. So that should not be repeated. So this is true. Set of letters in the word apple. So now can you see here A, P, P, L, E. So this P is repeated. So this is false. Now if A is 7, 10 and 12 and B is 3, 5, 9, insert the symbol this is called epsilon, this is called belongs to or does not belong to, to the present or following. Now this is given 7. So can you see here 7? It says what 7 belongs to A because this is set A and this is set B. So we can say 7 belongs to A. 6, we don't have this one. So here in B, this in B, so we, 6 does not belong to B. So we can write here and put a slash over there. 10 belongs, this one 10, can you see here 10 in B? So it does not belong to. So now 9 in A, no, so it does not belong to. Now 9 minus 2 means it is going to be 7. So can you see 7 in A? Yes, so it belongs to. 10 and 12 in A. So we can say 10 as well as 12 in A. So we can say, so we can write here in A. 10 and 12 belongs to A. So now here, 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is what? 5. 5 can you see in B? Yes. So it belongs to B. 10 plus 12. 10 plus 12 means 22. So can you see 22 in A? So it's not. So we can say does not belong to. So by this one we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.